Take a look around. This is our church. This is church. And with everything we have tonight, with all that goes on in this place, our desire is that our hearts would truly connect with our Creator. That as we come together and as we sing with one voice, we join our hearts and we sing these songs. We declare the glory of our God. That God would be allowed to be God in this place. That God would be God in our hearts. So we're going to sing and we're going to dance and we're going to praise God with everything. From the outset, let your hearts not be prepared for an album recording or for lights and music or anything like that, but prepare your hearts to encounter the living God because that's what's going to happen in this place. And we can put all the expectations on that that we like. But I don't know what will happen if we allow God to truly invade our lives, invade our hearts, invade this place the way I really know that He wants to. So we're going to stand and we're going to pray. Isaiah 42 says, I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. So sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the ends of the earth. You who go down to the sea and all that is in it, you islands and all who live in them, let the desert and its towns raise their voices. Let the settlements where Kedar lives rejoice. Let the people of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the mountaintops. Let them give glory to the Lord and proclaim His praise in the islands. The Lord will march out like a mighty man. Like a warrior, He will stir up His zeal. With a shout, He will raise the battle cry and will triumph over His enemies. Lift up a shout of praise to God in this place.
come together, our one desire.